kinds of operations that were going on by revanchist groups that were still trying to kill Americans and others. Was it <laughs> I large went numbers? back and checked was this. It large there was numbers? no activities was it after large 45. Numbers? There certainly were activities. Was it, was it a mass problem? No. Has it been a problem since? No. And that's what ideally we would like to have in but places like Iraq and Afghanistan. How long do you want but Americans if we to signal, be if we the signal, gendarmes I don't of want them to be the gendarmes at all. I want them to be part of a stable government that okay. denies the Taliban okay. and and denies the permanent Al occupation and others. 10, 20, 30 no. years, being present, that's all. Being present to support them, this is just as we've done in Germany. At least you're open about it. Just as we've done in Japan and Germany. A permanent no American, a military no American role in the Middle East. Is insisting that those mm -hmm. forces and this is what I've heard the neocons want. A permanent U.S. military establishment in the Middle East. That's what you want. It's not in Afghanistan. in the Middle East. It's not in the Middle East. Iraq, Afghanistan. It's not in the Middle East. I would personally like to have Americans forward deployed because I think we wind up saving ourselves a lot okay, of the way they look at it is an occupation here. force. The way so you well use the so term, far. if if we have in fact helped them survive what the Taliban is trying to do to them, I think they will be grateful to have us there, not regarding us as an occupation force that must be expelled. So if you had a That's vote, if question. you had a vote will right now, let me ask you a question because I don't know the answer. Best questions, right? If you had a vote in Afghanistan among the people who are not Taliban right now, would they vote for us to stay? I think rather than have the would Taliban. Would they vote for us to stay? Rather than have the Taliban no, no, take over the country. Different. Uh, they would. It isn't different. It's exactly the answer, Chris. You said you didn't know what the answer is. Well, the, that is exactly the answer. They would vote answer. for the American they Army to stay. They would rather not be ruled by the Taliban again. And would you? Would you run? Would you well, want to be ruled by the Taliban? That wasn't why would we went into Afghanistan in the first place, Frank. That wasn't the rest of the world? That was not why we went into Afghanistan. Ask yourself this. Would you want the Taliban to be victorious in Afghanistan because believe you know what that even will mean, empower Frank, them beyond you know what that urbanists, even not just the mean, Taliban, Frank, but Islamists is worldwide utterly will be emboldened Frank, and empowered it is a by red our herring, there. It is a if red that's what you recommend, you, have no arguments. you do have to take you responsibility. Have no argument, Gentlemen, Frank. one of the great ironies of American politics is the Thank group you. in this country. Your father would the group be ashamed the, the of you. Oh, that's not fair. The country. It is. You better watch your mouth about that, The group in this country that most resembles the Taliban, Ironically, is the religious right. Thank you, Frank Gaffney, and thank you, Ron Reagan. I'll Rob see you Nash, later, the Muslim Frank. Brotherhood. Uh, the Chris. White House is calling it. It's uh, well. What's it saying about it? It's calling it's out its the political Muslim opponents. Republicans are saying they're keeping an enemies list. Are they? Are they?